all right guys welcome back welcome back to the channel so this is day two of test driving and reviewing uh this lovely little scooter here this little uh 800 watt motor and um 48 volt battery scooter but today guys notice what we've got the seat option there all right so without further ado let's get on with it let us get on with it huh And as they say, scoot on out of here and get to our coffee shop ASAP. Um, so yeah, guys, let's uh, let's see if our battery's pretty worthy today. Um, so yeah, the uh, well, it would be nice if I had the keys. All right, first major review fail, guys. <sighs> First major review fail. <laughs> no keys. <laughs> well, probably not gonna get too far without the keys, guys. So, <laughs> first, um, first, you guys have to put the keys in the ignition. <laughs> Oh god, I didn't think I would have to say that. Um, well, there we are. Um, one more battery check there. All right, guys. Um, so, without further ado, um, Now, let us scoot on out of here by pressing that red button. Okay. So, we got 25 kilometers on the old odometer. The lights are on. All right, so. Yeah, let's see how it handles while we're sitting down. Now, we're going to go this way today. Mm-hmm. So yeah guys, um what I wanna tell you is the main reason we're testing out the seating option is because of the comfort level. Because you know as I as I was going on about yesterday, um standing up I would say will be good for yeah for about uh, you know two three miles, and then I would I would recommend I would highly recommend walking um, a little bit you know to kind of stretch out the limbs. Um, so yeah, we're picking up a a very quick. Thirty kilometers an hour. Guys, I'm sure you can figure out um kilometers and miles, but uh the easiest way to do it is just mul divide the kilometers by one point six. So we're going sort of a uh, wrong way here on the frontage road. But this little maneuver probably saved us a good two minutes, guys. Um, so yeah, there we go, guys. Um,
Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna get this light. Let's see if we get it tough. Nope. Yeah, guys. Um. So yeah, she's handling. It's handling pretty good. Um. There is a warning. There is like a little warning. Um. Uh, there's like a little warning sticker up here. Um, I don't know why that's happening, but they say it could happen. Uh, well, it's only warning when it stopped, I guess. Uh, maybe warning us that we are stopped. All right, so we're gonna make a, see, the only thing guys about a scooter I've noticed too is that You know, you gotta keep your both hands on the on the wheel at all times, pretty much, because you know the 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 smallest little bump can you know can cause you to crash. Um, and also, you know, so like when when actually traveling down roads, you know, like if you're actually on the road on the road. Um, It kind of proves it difficult, you know, to make turning, um, but I guess I do have a turning signal here. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm, you know, I'm used to cycling and so, you know, I'm used to putting my hand out as a turning signal. But I guess here we do have turning signals. Um, I'm gonna try them out in a minute. Yeah, see? Yeah, there is a turning signal here. Um, when we park uh, by the coffee shop, guys, um, I'm gonna see how, how exactly the uh, turning signals work. Well, yeah, guys, um, I am literally down to two bars of power, guys. Um, so, yeah, we're coasting at 32 kilometers an hour, but guys, I am quickly losing power. We've just lost two bars in the first like third of the way and we still got a while to go so hopefully I don't get stuck. I did bring the backup battery charger so I can charge it. Um, 